Back on the show is Grant Dawson, who's got a fight coming up here for Victory Fighting Championships. He's going to be taking on Christian Camp at Victory FC 52 on July 16th. Grant, how's it going? It's going good, sir. Just in the middle of camp, and uh, everything's good right now. Absolutely. And uh, you and I spoke, uh, you know, for, before your last fight there, uh, fighting for KCFA. Um, you know, now you're fighting here in July. Uh, was this sort of the right amount of time uh, off for you as far as having the break there? Yeah. Um, after my last fight, things didn't go my way, and uh, I wanted to get back in there as fast as possible. But I, I also wanted to make sure that there were no injuries, uh, especially with my head. Um, I took some pretty hard shots in that fight, and uh, I, I'm a worrier. You know, I don't want my head to get. Uh, I don't want to be ten years down the line and be like Muhammad Ali was. You know, so had some scans done, went to the doctor, took the right amount of time off. Now we're back in. I feel great. I feel ready. And I'm ready to put the beating on somebody. Yeah, definitely. And you know, you and I, oftentimes when we talk before an interview, usually it's you coming off a win. This is a first for you coming off your first career loss. Um, what'd you learn the most in that fight, uh, you know, coming off your first professional loss? You know, I learned a lot in 35 seconds. And uh, I'm going to tell you the biggest thing that I learned that 155 pounds, those guys are just too big, too athletic, and too fast. So uh, 45 is my home. I think I'm going to stay there from now on. And uh, I would say that's the biggest thing that I've learned from that fight. Yeah, you obviously have a great team around you training at Glory MMA and Fitness. Uh, what was sort of the best advice you got after that fight uh, from maybe some of your teammates or coaches? The best thing that my coaches told me is uh, James Krause. Right after the fight, he told me, he said, office jobs suck, so don't even think about quitting. And I was like... <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm good. I just need a few days and I'll be back. So that, that was really the best thing I got from him. And, and I talked to him and I talked to Joe, my manager, and we both just said, you know, look, I'm better than that guy, but he was bigger, stronger, faster, and the better man that night. So 45 is where I need to be. And I agree with them. So that's where I'll be from now on. Good stuff. Uh, here you are uh, fighting for Victory FC again. I must be pretty excited. It's on UFC Fight Pass. Lots of really good exposure. Uh, you're taking on Christian Camp, like I mentioned off the top. Uh, how do you think you match up against him? I think I match up great against Christian. Um, he's going to do exactly what I want him to do. He's going to come in and he's going to try and be aggressive, which is what I like. I hate chasing people down. He's going to try and shoot on me, which is great. We're going to end up in the clinch. And I just feel like I'm better than him everywhere. So I really don't see anything that he can do in this fight that's going to that's going to rattle me. So I really like this matchup a lot. And how excited are you to be competing for Victory FC again? I know you had some good success when you were with them last time and obviously uh, getting the opportunity to fight in your home state. I love fighting for Victory. Um, it, it's one of my favorite shows to fight for. Uh, they just... Everything that they do, it's on UFC Fight Pass. Every every show that I've been to at theirs is just really well put together, and I love fighting for them. You know, um, I'll fight for anybody who'll give me a fight, but Victory is definitely a fight promotion that I love fight for. And you mentioned this fight's going to be at featherweight. Uh, have you had to change much in your training, your diet, things like that, to kind of get down to forty five? Um, I've made forty five twice before. Um, it just sucks. I, I just don't like it. Uh, diet as when I go to 55 I can I can kind of splurge myself uh but when going to 45 I really have to especially three weeks out like right now I really gotta lock it down and cut all that crap out so that's what I'm doing my weight's coming off actually a lot better than I thought it was going to and I'm pretty excited to see how how easily I can make it do you have anyone sort of guiding you through that as far as the nutrition side of things or are you just sort of listening to your teammates and things like that and, and kind of the right things to eat to, to cut weight um, I get a pretty pretty much what I do is I get a, a guideline from Tyler Mitten, who is James. Oh, the melee, the melee way, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, he's James's dietitian, so I get pretty much an outline from him, kind of figure out what I need to do, and then if I have any questions, I'll ask James, and then if James doesn't know, which he always does, but if he doesn't, he'll ask Tyler. So that's kind of what I've been doing. You mentioned your camp there. Uh, Jason Witt, teammate of yours, is also on this card. Uh, it must be nice, uh, you know, having another teammate uh, going down uh, to victory and, and fighting on this card with you. Yeah, um, J Jason Witt's a, a great dude. He, he's a great teammate of mine. Um, he really puts it on everybody in the gym. So it's great to have him in for a full camp. And, man, the guy who he's fighting, Dakota Cochran, um, I'm friends with Dakota. I knew Dakota way before I knew Witt. Um, this is – that's an exciting fight, like – I'm more excited about that fight than probably my own fight. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a good, good fight. Absolutely. Um, who, who else at uh, Glory are you training with right now that's sort of helping you get ready for this matchup? 
Well, we got the the normal guys, you know, James Krause, Tim Elliott, Zach Cummings. They're all in every day getting ready. Um, got my boy, Zach Long. He's uh, helping me every day. Yezan Haji is fighting, I think, two weeks after my fight. So he's in every day. Um, we're all just grinding and getting after it, man. And it's it's a killer room, that's for sure. You mentioned your weight cut. What's one thing you're really missing on your diet right now that you can't eat? Dinner rolls. I love <laughs> bread. I am a huge bread guy. I love bread. And I've had a couple of pieces of bread every now and then, but for the most part, it's gone. So that's what I'm missing. More importantly, how has this impacted date night with you and your girlfriend? You guys go out a lot, like to do the fine dining thing. Uh, I, I imagine it's kind of uh, put a wrench in things. It's more of go see a movie and then go back home. <laughs> right. No popcorn, though. You can't have the popcorn, right? That's not good for you. So, On this interview, I'm going to say yes. I did not <laughs> have popcorn. But me and you, me and you now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, perfect world. How many more times do you fight this year? You already got you know, a couple in this year, um, but, but you sort of have a blueprint as far as how many other fights you want. Including this one, three is what I'm hoping for. If I can get as many as possible if, if it's a short notice fight heck yeah if it's you know something happens where i need i'm needed in two weeks after this fight i am game i am definitely game i want to get as many in as i can at the end of the year probably looking like three which is a small number for me but that's okay um Obviously, Christian Camp's the main focus here, but uh, you and I always talk about this, your record. Obviously, uh, you know, there has been some dialogue with uh, your camp and the UFC. Um, is that dialogue still ongoing? Did they say anything to you after your last fight? Is there sort of any sort of uh, discussion going on there? Yeah, um, we we contacted Sean Shelby and we were talking to him. He understands, you know, he's like, hey, you guys took a fight out of your weight class. You know, it was it was shorter notice. I wouldn't want to say it was short notice, but it was shorter notice. Um stuff happens you know so he understands that he he said you know get get two or three more and then and then we'll be talking again so that's the goal right now um my mindset in this whole this whole fight camp has been i don't want to just win i want to have the best performance of my career i want to show everybody in that arena everybody watching on ufc fight pass including sean shelby that my loss was a fluke and it's not going to happen again and that i am the real deal at 145 pounds and you know what's coming next uh, grant i gotta ask a prediction i gotta get one for this fight how do you see this one ending i see this one ending in the second round i'm gonna give camp the second round because he's he's a tough dude he can take punches man but i'm gonna get him in the second i want to knock him out i'd really like to knock him out but i'll take whatever he gives me before I let you go here, uh, I know you're a big movie guy. We talked about that a little bit earlier in this interview. Uh, seen any good movies lately? I always like to get your recommendation. Oh, what did me and Josie just go see last night? Uh, that movie with The Rock Johnson. Uh, oh, um, with Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart uh, Home Security or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it was good? Yeah, it was really good. It was hilarious. Um, I definitely recommend that. And then I think we're going to go see Independence Day either next week or in the next couple of days. So I'm looking forward to that one. Well, we're looking forward to that, but we're also looking forward to your fight coming up here. Victory FC 52 coming up on July 16th, live on UFC Fight Pass. Grant, always appreciate you taking the time. Just to remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media and give any thank yous or shout outs. The floor is yours, man. Hey guys, follow me on Facebook, follow my fan page, uh, follow me on Twitter, 20Y1, at Grant Dawson. Also, I'd like to make a big, big thank you to the Legion Club here in Lee Summit. Post-19, those guys just started a partnership with me, and they've been a great, great supporter of me. I've been supporting them. It's been awesome. Thank you guys so, so much. I'd also like to thank Kelly Baltuska at Ky uh, Baltuska Chiropractic. He's been working on me twice a week for the past six or seven weeks, and I just feel great in this camp. Uh, so thank you guys so much for supporting me.